Hello, I'm Glenn Roadley, Curator of Natural Science at the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery. I care for and provide access to the approximately 150,000 specimens in our natural science collections. That's the plants, rocks, minerals, fossils, fungi and animals. Natural science collections are an incredible resource. They give people the chance to get up close to nature and see the diverse range of wildlife that can be found on their doorstep. I hope that they encourage our visitors to get outside and appreciate and protect nature. All of our modern taxidermy specimens are ethically collected, dying of accidental or natural causes. My job involves ensuring that each specimen in our collection is recorded in our digital catalogue, and that they're organised and stored in a way that allows them to be easily found. I monitor their condition and make sure they're safe from pest damage or in suitable climate conditions, such as an unstable temperature or humidity. The collections themselves are used for display, education, inspiration and science. Each specimen comes with information about when and where it was collected. And when data from historical collections are combined with modern surveys and collections, we can see how a species distribution might have changed over time. This can be compared with factors such as climate change or habitat loss to see how wildlife has been affected and to better inform future environmental decisions. Our aim is to make this information as accessible as possible, either physically for visiting researchers or digitally. Over 35,000 records can be searched through our website and data is shared directly with our local biological record centre, the Staffordshire Ecological Record, which is based at the Staffordshire Wildlife Trust. We're digitising and uploading new records all the time and they'll be ultimately all be shared with the NBN Atlas, a national biodiversity data portal which you or anyone interested can use to find out where species have been recorded in the country. To date, our records have been downloaded over a thousand times, aiding in education, scientific research and habitat management planning. And of course, it's not just the data that's valuable. Physical specimens can be used in science requiring the study of anatomy or DNA. So while some people might find the collecting of dead animals to be a bit macabre, they're actually vital in protecting our natural environments.